everybody, since today I'm back and today I'm going to be doing something very timely, I think, for what's currently going on. So, this past week obviously has been tumultuous, to say the least, on the world stage, but you've got so much has happened, but obviously the most notable thing is the US election, which has been controversial, let's put it that way, that seems like a safe way of describing it. Lots of really polarised opinions on both fronts, it's been a really surreal week, it's almost like the week after Brexit, everyone kind of doesn't know what to think, and it's one of those weeks where you just need some way of escaping from it all, you need some kind of escapism, and today I'm going to be showing you five of my favourite escapist books. These are the books that if you are wanting to avoid reading anything about politics, or any bleak futures, or anything like that. You just want something easy to read, good fun, that you can switch you off from everything going on in the world. These are the books for you to read. So first up then is a book called The Norfolk Mystery by Ian Sansom. So from the cover and the name, you could probably work out what kind of book this is. It's one of those cosy crime novels, but it's kind of halfway between Sherlock Holmes and Agatha Christie. It's got a really unusual Sherlock Holmes in character, but it's got a lot more of the kind of whimsical light-heartedness of Agatha Christie. And it's just really interesting. Basically, the author's going to do one for each UK county. Um, there's four or five of them out now, and this is the first one he did. And it's just so light and easy and interesting without any deep-rooted meanings or politics behind it as well. So it's a really interesting, easy read, but they've still got a really good plot. Now, this is something completely different. This is The Guest Cat by Takashi Harari. So you might have heard about this because this book in Christmas 2014 was such a big deal. Like, it was everywhere. And it's, as you can probably tell, it's a really, really touching story about a cat. And it's a Japanese couple in Japan. And this cat kind of starts showing up at their house. And it shows up all these important moments when they're thinking on their lives. And it's just about the way the couple's relationship develops and the way they kind of interact with this cat. And it's, it is a really nice heartwarming story and it is just so easy you can literally read it in one afternoon so if you just wanted a few hours to get away from it all this is a great book to escape into the warning you will probably want to buy a cat by the time it's finished book three then is something quite different again this is a very funny humorous book and it's the rosie project by graham simpson so the way i would describe this which i do know for a fact the author hates but i think is quite good is that it's very much in the vein of sheldon from the big bang theory the main character is a guy who is never described as having any any specific social anxiety disorder or anything along those lines, but he's very much specific and particular about everything, and he's very much a person that likes lists and checklists and things to be proper and prim. And he basically decides that he needs a wife, and he comes up with something called the Wife Project, which is basically like a really, really, really strict, rigorous dating app where it like matches up based on all of your beliefs and ideals, the perfect partner for you. And inevitably, he meets a woman who doesn't quite fit with the wife project, but might just be the one for him. But it's just all told from his perspective. And because he's got this unusual way that his brain sees everyday things, it's just a really unusual quirky, makes you thinking, but it's also very, very funny, much in the way that the Big Bang Theory is. So if you're a fan of that, this is really good. And it is a rom-com. It's very much like a book version of a chick flick, for example. But I think it's that's quite demeaning to it. I think it's a really interesting. I loved it, and I'm not a big fan of these kinds of reads normally. So, again, another perfect escapist book. Now, the next one then kind of goes into the master of escapism. And that's Terry Pratchett. Now, I couldn't do this video and not talk about The Colour of Magic because this is one of those books that I've read numerous times. There aren't many of those. But it just creates this really unusual, tongue-in-cheek world. Anyone that's ever read any of these books, seen any of the TV or film adaptations, they're just so weird and crazy and hilarious. And just so many normal things that are just so common in everyday life that actually when you raise a magnifying glass and look at them, they are weird. And this puts all those things out, but it's set in this fantastical world, which is like a weird hodgepodge of loads of different cultures and ideas, and it's just so easy reading, very funny, really good plot, not too politicised, not too dense, and just one that is great to escape into. It's one of those worlds, there aren't many of these in literature, that you genuinely feel like could be real in a weird kind of way. It really feels fully formed, fully fledged, and you can picture yourself as part of that, and that's what makes this so good for escaping into. Now, lastly, is a bit different, and this is a bit more 
casual. This is the kind of book you dip into and dip out of, but it's just really good for those 10-15 minutes to just switch off and just read about some really interesting things. Breverton's Phantasmagoria. So I first looked at this book because, oh my god, look how nice that cover is. Like, it's beautiful. And it's basically just a really random compendium of mythology and folklore and bits of witchcraft and just really unusual things from history, culture, and it's just a bit crazy. Loads of illustrations of the different ways that mythological creatures have been represented over time, and it just dips into these little folk tales about these different areas or these different animals or creatures and the way that they've developed, and it's just really interesting. But at the same time, they are all slightly unusual, quirky things that you know, some people believe exist, some people don't, and it's got that kind of element to it that is very detached from the real world. It doesn't feel like it's too hard hitting or anything along those lines. But at the same time, it is all stuff that kind of you kind of sit there and think, hmm, interesting. And I come to this. I've never sat and read it cover to cover. It's not one of those books, but I come to it every now and then if I'm just wanting something a bit interesting to read, just wanting something I can pick up for ten minutes and then put down and th- not think about for a while. This is great for that. So there we have it. They are the books that I think can help get us all through these really weird few weeks that we've just been through and that we've got coming ahead. And they're just really good books to escape into and just take your mind off everything. And there's nothing in them really that's ever going to jar you back to reality. They're all very, very kind of unpoliticised and just really interesting, unusual, often quite funny books that are just great to get wrapped up in. Have you got any suggestions for escapist books? Because I like these kind of books that can just completely switch you off from the real world. I read a lot of non-fiction and I love how that relates to the real world, but it is great to have those books sometimes you can just retreat into and get away from everything. And I'd be love to know if any of you guys have got any suggestions for that. Other than that, I'm going to leave my Twitter and my Goodreads and things all down in the description below. A comment, a like, a subscribe is always super appreciated. I love engaging with you guys and the more of you there are, the more I can do that and that's brilliant. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with my next video.